the demand on you to be at the top of your game every time you compete is there and I'd say in that sense performing at the Olympics you know it will train you to perform in this because you have to perform at the Olympics that week regardless of how you're feeling this you have to perform this week regardless of how you're feeling it's really tough and I think it's a fantastic example of what you can actually achieve in you know communication under in seriously high pressure environment it's just kind of years of practice and sort of mentally rehearsing when you're away from the boat um, you know waking up in the morning a couple of hours before the start what the conditions okay what's going to be important today and just start kind of thinking about the priorities so that when the start gun goes you know you're, you're firing, you're giving the information. And event by event, day by day and all through the day it's a constant dialogue that in between every race you get seconds just to you know really say right we're missing this here and, and it's just a constant improvement you know and analysis we have debriefs you know we'll try and have a chat about it right after racing in the day when it's fresh and you know where were the key problems and then obviously with our coach who's a key part of, of the whole uh, process um, you know he will kind of um, raise the the, the question and, and we'll just we'll try and refine it. You've got to minimise the amount of words that are said. It's, it's, it's key words, key points at key times. And but it takes a constant refinement to actually try and achieve that. You know, because these boats are so physical, like I need to be able to keep up with the guys. I need to be able to do everything I can physically on the boat. And you know that mental push, never giving up till the end. Just like in racing, anything can happen. You got to keep pushing all the way through. The good thing for me is that I have been a crew in my Olympic sailing, and I've been a helm, and you know I have a lot of experience. So when I'm delivering information to Lee and Peter to help make decisions, I kind of I know when to deliver it and the information they need to help make that decision. Having everyone on the boat at that level where they're understanding and they're following the conversation and uh, instantly ready to, to react to whatever that kind of manoeuvre is going to end up being is, is vital and, and that's you know, largely where our successes really come from.